Excel tricks that I learned at Trainer Taga. Hey, this is episode 1635. A control T table, is it relative or absolute? Uh, as I mentioned, I was over in Lucerne, Switzerland uh, doing uh, the, uh, some sessions at their Trainer Taga, Trainer Days, uh, and this was a, a lot of fun. In fact, I just uh, got to check out the video. They put up uh, their first Vimeo.com 585-90184 uh, and I clearly was having a lot of fun here. Uh, if you know, I said I, I spoke slow English. If you want to see my slow English, uh, I was in slow English mode when they, they shot that video. Uh, just uh, a, a great time, made some great friends and I'm going to show a lot of the, the tricks that I learned at Trainer Taga here on the podcast over the next uh, several weeks. Uh, you know, maybe a couple per week. So this is from Dietmar Geringer and Dietmar, actually everyone there is using control T tables uh, far more often than I ever use them. And so just watching them uh, do things, Dietmar was talking about something else but I was uh, kind of amazed when I saw that uh, this particular trick worked. So you know, the relative nature of formulas, this is not a table, this is just a regular range. Uh, that formula B7 to B11, when I drag it to the right, it automatically changes to point to C7 to C11 and then D7 to D11. We just take this for granted, uh, but Dietmar doesn't have a regular range. He changed this to a table, Control T, uh, and so you know now we have the situation uh, where they're not going to build regular formulas for me. They're going to build that weird table nomenclature, so equal average, uh, and so we select that range, and now it's basically hard-coded in there that it wants January and I said, oh, well, this is not going to work when he drags it to the right, uh, but I was very surprised that sure enough, yep, the January changes to February, the February changes to March, uh, that works great, all right, so it, even though they're essentially hard-coding the name of the month in the in the table nomenclature uh, for a formula, it, it works as a relative formula, that works fine, uh, but then uh, Dietmar's point is, well, what if we actually uh, don't need months that are in order? What if we need to call out specific months? Uh, then we can use indirect. So here, I'm using one of the new Excel 2013 formula text, so that way I can see that formula uh, at the same time. Of course, I can see the formula here, but I, I can't build a formula over in G2 while this cell is selected. So formula text lets, let me, lets me continue to see the formula that's in B2 when I'm somewhere else. So we're going to use equal average, the indirect. All right, and then we're going to build something that looks like that uh, word. So in quotes, table one, open left square bracket, ampersand, and then the month name that's right above us, ampersand, closing square bracket, and that's it. That builds our indirect. We'll close the indirect close the average. Hey, note there, uh, the color of the parentheses changed in Excel 2013. I think that's a great improvement. So let's see if this works. Uh, we'll select June here and our average is 2269.2. Yep, that's great. All right, and then we'll copy across. So this should be pulling December 2698. 2698, yeah, beautiful. So a great way uh, using table nomenclature, you get relative references automatically. But when you need something a bit more absolute, like we always want to pull June, August, or December, uh, cool trick there using indirect uh, to build a tab table reference that points to a specific column. Well, again, hey, my thanks to, to Dietmar. We uh, learned a lot. Dietmar's new book comes out next week. I actually have gone out to Amazon.de and just uh, at Amazon.de search for Excel Dietmar, D-I-E-T-M-A-R. There it is right there, uh, Microsoft Excel 2010. Uh, I cannot tell you what this title means, um, but I looked through it, I ordered it for myself because just from the screenshots in the book, there's so many good ideas that I'm going to be able to uh, use. So available at Amazon.de, whether you speak English or Deutsch, uh, great book coming out next week. All right, and hey, if you have a chance to be in Lucerne, Switzerland, let's uh, do Trainer Days, January 17th through 21st, 2014. I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast. Mr. Excel.